What is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to mirror shine shoes, black leather shoes, with just Kiwi Parade Gloss, which is right here, and a little bit of water, and a rag, no lighter, no quick shine, nothing like that, so... Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it right into it. So the first thing that you guys are gonna need is your shoe shine, which is the Kiwi Pretty Gloss that is there. And you're gonna need your water, which I just put in a cap to like a food source. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is get your rag, which it can be an old t-shirt or it can be an old rag. It has to, it, it can be white, and it has to be clean. Obviously, this one's dirty, but it, it doesn't matter too much, as long as it's not completely, like, dirty. The, the entire thing's not dirty. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is... I'm not going to uh, completely go into demonstrating this, because my shoes are actually completely shined. It just shine them. And so basically what you're going to want to do is when you take the rag on your finger... You want to take a clean part of the rag, which you haven't used yet. You don't want, like, these little marks anywhere. But you want to go like this. You want it to be really tight around your finger, like this. And then what you want to do is, it, it doesn't matter which finger you use it on. You can use it on any finger, as long as you have tension right here in this part of the rag, right here, like that. You're not going to be buffing at all, like going back and forth. It's just going to be using this finger. So once you've done that, you're going to want to pop open your parade glass. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply a not a whole lot of pressure, but just enough to where you can rub it. You're going to rub it around and get it on the very tip of it. And you're going to want a whole lot on the tip because this is going to be your base layer. And your base layer is what goes on, on, or what goes under all of your other layers. So you're gonna rub it around, get a good amount of shoe polish on here, like that. And once you've done it, it should be almost completely black, and you should see a little bit of shoe polish around here, around that edge. And then what you're gonna want to do from there is once you've done that, you want to use no water. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your unshined shoe. And you're just going to go like back and forth. You're not going to worry about shining it right now. You're going to want to rub it back and forth like this. Back and forth. You, and th what this is going to do is it's going to create a layer of wax on top of the leather. Which this, obviously it will be considered your base layer. And you want it to go like that until it's completely flat and there's no, like you, you can't see the leather. All you can see is the shoe shine on top of it. And once you've done that. You want to take, once you've done that, you you let that be for a minute. And then while you're doing that, you get a new part of your rag, which I'll get here. You get a new part of your rag, another clean part. Then after you've done that, you want to, you want to take some more of your uh, Prey Gloss. Just put a little tiny bit on. Not a lot, like, right, I'll demonstrate this. Just a little bit, just to where... Like that. You don't want ne you don't want nearly as much as you put on the first time. You just want it to be like this. Just one. Just a little then bit. After like you've that. done that, once you have this on the rag, once you have a little bit of pre glass, what you want to do is you're gonna take your cap of water. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you're gonna just smooth out the what I do is cause this builds up on the edge. What I do is I just kinda smooth it out like that, just so I can get a little bit of water on top. And then what you want to do is you just want a l just barely a little bit of water. You just want water. You just want water to soak up on the very tip of where the wax is, so it kind of like goes around the wax, most just a little bit. You don't want to be able to feel it through your finger. And when and when you know you have done it wrong, when you shine the shoe, you'll see little tiny streaks of water, and you do not want that. And if that happens, then you want to redo this whole process or redo this whole step rather. Because it'll be it'll ruin your shoe if you do that. So anyway, once you've done that, I I, I didn't demonstrate the uh, full wax all over the shoe. 
Uh, but once you've done that, you should see you should see a, a an entire layer of flat wax all over the shoe. It shouldn't be shiny at all. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you're gonna take your rag with a little bit of shoe shine and water, and you're just gonna rub you're gonna rub in little circles. You're not gonna uh, apply a great amount of pressure, but we're, you're just gonna rub in tiny tiny circles, just so that you you, you go in a sort of uh, pattern like this. You go that way. You don't rub in this part and that part. You go like this all the way down the whole shoe and back and forth, sort of like this. And then this until you until basically you've seen or until you until it's starting to get a little bit shiny all over the whole shoe. You shouldn't have any flat parts all over the shoe. And after that, what you want to do is you get another part of your rag, new part. And you just get a little bit more shoe shine and water. Dip it in the water, like I said. And then you keep doing that over and over again. You keep going. And you want to keep rubbing it until all the little tiny streaks come out. There's little streaks from the shoe polish. And you want those to... You don't want any of those on the shoe, obviously. Like I, like mine. And basically what you want... What, what that's going to do is it's going to give it a nice glossy texture. Make it look like... It's, it's going to look like... A, like prey shoes. After you're done with that and you are satisfied with your shoes, that is basically it. Once they are mirror shined, you have to. Once they are mirror shined, you have to keep uh, shining them constantly, at least once per day. And your shoe, your shoes are not going to look like this after your first shine. There's just no way. So basically, you want it. It's going to be after a few weeks before your shoes look like this, and you want to keep shining them at least once per day. And yep, about in about two or three weeks, your shoes will look just like this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you find it helpful because I know I struggled with shoe shining in the past. And hopefully this helped you guys a lot. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please drop a like on the video if this was helpful. And subscribe if you're new. And I hope you guys... I wish you guys the best of luck with shoe shining in the future. Thanks for watching.